they both have a variety of disabilities um, and additional needs and they both do really well to just yeah. function in the way that other families take for granted I think um, but everything's a challenge for them going to school is a challenge it's quite difficult we don't have a lot of facilities around here for education yeah. going to social groups out with schools difficult getting the right support yeah. in place finding activities that they can take part in is difficult um, it's a bit easier now they're older but um, particularly Ryan with his physical limitations it's very difficult to find clubs that he can join in with I, I know labels are not always the most helpful things, but what are the boys' conditions? What are their challenges? Well, both children are, they have a variety of small diagnoses, but neither of them has an overall diagnosis for what is affecting them and why they've developed in that way. Um, Matthew has predominantly learning difficulties and visual impairment, um, finds education very, very difficult and sort of social needs, so he probably functions as a younger child would. Ryan has physical disabilities and a learning disability and a very significant visual impairment. He's got very limited vision. Um, how, how did you find this place? I mean, how did you come across it? Totally by accident. We came up on a taster day. They work with a local charity called Parents Inclusion Network and we came up on a taster day just because I'd been trying to find horsey activities for Matthew and nowhere would take him because of his disabilities so we saw the taster day advertised and booked a place and Matthew came up here and he just loved it from the word go and then we sort of did various things to try and keep him coming. Um, when you say nobody would take him because of his disabilities um, what was the difference in approach between with this place? I think there was lots of I think People were frightened of it, so they felt that they weren't qualified enough, they didn't have the correct insurance in place. I think they weren't sure what they would do with them. Um, so most places we didn't even get past the telephone stage because you just called up and they immediately said no. Um, whereas up here, you could see from the other clients that they were working with that they were going to be fine. Like, there was never any question of, we don't know if he'll manage or we don't know if we can work with him. It was just like, come in and get on with it. Um, which is really important because if you've been turned away from so many places with your child being difficult or a problem or you don't feel welcome, when you actually find somewhere where it's a yes, it's like, it's, yeah, it's quite overwhelming actually at first. I mean, it must have made a big difference to you as a parent, suddenly to find somewhere where they... It was, for Matthew particularly, Matthew wasn't in school at the time because we couldn't find a school placement for him. He had no social activities at all. We'd tried everything and he'd failed at everything. He had no friends. He was with me 24-7. He was really depressed and unhappy. I was really struggling. And all of a sudden, he came somewhere where he could do it. What change have you seen in him since he's been... Oh, he's a totally different boy. He's a totally different boy. And I actually think that if it hadn't been for coming here, I don't know what would have happened. Um, after a few years being here, we successfully got him into school and he's maintained a school placement. Um, he has tried other activities on the back of knowing that he can be successful at acti activities. He's tried other things, which wouldn't have happened before because he didn't have the confidence. He's, he's a happy boy now, he's not a miserable boy, he doesn't hide away um, and he's got much more confidence because he knows he can do something, he knows that he's good at something and he's made a lot of friends as well, he's got a lot of friends here um, which is hard for him in other places. Um, what difference has it made to you? Uh, our family life's just a lot better, we've had something to focus on, we've had a social group of other families who are all in exactly the same boat, people to talk to, friends for the kids to play with. <laughs> Uh, somewhere to be, somewhere to be where it's relaxed and happy um, and it's a big part of our lives, we do a lot with the people from here um, and it's just made things so much better for all of us.